hi guys i'm back and in this video i'm going to share with you strange phenomena in math which is an exception so you all know the rational number is right a upon b where a is any integer and b is any integer which is not zero so that's a rational number right and you also heard of the rule that any recurring decimal number which may or may not be terminating is a rational number yeah, it's like 0 0.333333 is 1 upon 3. You know that rule, right? So, in this video, I am going to be disrupting the second rule I said. And, yeah, so let's go on with the phenomena. So, in this, I'll show you that 1, that single digit 1, is equal to 0 0.9999999, etc. So, 1 is equal to 0 0.9 bar. So you might thinking no, 1 minus 0 0.9 bar is not 0 because 0 0.9 bar is the tiniest bit smaller than 1 because it's not like each digit 9 makes it bigger but still it's a little smaller than 1. Like it's 0 0.9999. It's 0 point. So it's a little bit more than 0 but it's less than 1. If it was more than 1 or equal to 1, it would have been 1 point something. So, yeah, so 0 0.9999999, etc. is equal to 1. I'm going to prove that too. So, let's see. Take a, take a rational number, 1 upon 3, okay? And you know what is equal to 0 0.3 bar. So, you multiply both sides by 3. You get 1 upon 3 times 3, cut 3 is out. You get 1. And 1 is equal to 0 0.3 bar times 3. So, it's obvious that 0 0.3 bar times 3 is just... 0 0.3333 dot dot times 3, which will give us 0 0.99999 dot dot. So, yeah, so 1, so then you get the uh, equation 1 is equal to 0 0.9999999. But everybody is fine with 1 upon 3 times 3, but somehow no, not everybody is fine with 0 0.3 bar times 3. So, I'll prove it to you in another way. But first, let's see why people doubt that 0 0.3 bar times 3 is not 0 0.9 bar or 1 upon 3 is not 0 0.3 bar you just prove it right now so i'm going to show you why people think so it's like 1 upon 3 is one part divided into 3 and 0 0.3 bar isn't exactly like 0 0.3 bar as in for us we just assume it to be ending somewhere like our mind is unable to process infinite numbers where it doesn't end like numbers which never end even some people like it's on the scale you can point out 0 0.3 bar somewhere between here and here but you can never find out where and you know why because whenever you put a point somewhere it's a little bit like 0, 0.0 bar 3 times a little smaller than somewhere so you can never plot 0 0.3 bar on the scale so you think it's irrational but it's Actually, it's rational because rational number is anything which is represented in A upon B. So, I'm going a little off topic here. So, I'll just remind you about rational numbers. So, people think that 1 upon 3 is not 0 0.3 bar. And I guess it's correct because 1 upon 3 is a number. 0 0.3 bar, I don't think it's a number because it keeps moving, put, applying 3s, 3s, and 3s, and 3s. So, I guess it's that reason why 1 is equal to 0 0.9 bar. Or if you think 1 upon 3 is 0 0.3 bar, then you have to accept that 0, 1 is equal to 0 0.9 bar. Or you're saying multiplication doesn't exist and I don't know what you're talking about. So if you want another way to prove it, I'll show you it. So 0 0.9 bar, let's say we don't know what it's equal to. Maybe it's an irrational number. We'll assign it a variable. There's no algebra without variables. So let's give it a name i. So, 0 0.9 bar is equal to i. So, yeah. So, then if, if you multiply both sides by 10, you get 10i is equal to 0 0.9 bar times 10. And if you know the, like the shortcut key for math, I guess, you just shift the decimal place 1 to the right for multiplication and for up 10 and hundreds and etc. And 1 to the left for division. So, we're doing multiplication in this case, shift it to the right. So 0 0.9 bar times 10 is 9.9 .9 bar. So 9.9 .9 bar is equal to 10 times t. I mean i. So 9.9 .9 bar is equal to 10i. 
Now, if you realize what is 9.9 .9 bar minus T, T is 0 0.9 bar. So 9.9 .9 bar minus 0 0.9 bar gives us 9, right? So technically, we're just adding 9 to 0 0.9 bar. So we can, 0 0.9 bar is I. So we can say 9 plus I gives us 10I. This 10I is equal to 9.9 .9 bar. And 9 plus 9 .9 bar is equal to 10I. So we can say 0 0.9 bar is I. So 9 plus I gives us 10I. It just proves that 9 plus I is equal to, 9 plus I is equal to 10I. So 9 is equal to 9I. So 9 is equal to 9, 10, something. But something has to be 1. So that is proof I is equal to 1. And I is equal to 0 0.9 bar. So 1 is equal to 0 0.9 bar. I mean, how is that possible? You know that 1 minus 0 0.9 bar is not going to be 0. It's going to be 0, 0.0 bar 1. I don't know if that exists or not because it's just weird. So I'm just saying that maybe that recurring decimal rule does not apply to all numbers. Maybe in the future there will be a new method that someone makes that you can convert recurring decimals into rational numbers. Or maybe someone will make a theorem. And not all recurring decimals are rational numbers. And maybe you will invert a new number line completely. So yeah, that's all. So post your views on this in the comments and think if do you think that all recurring decimals are rational numbers? Because 0 0.9 bar is not a rational number to me. So I guess that's all. So make sure you, po you make a post your view and like and subscribe for more tough paradoxes and stuff like that. So goodbye.